All right. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to get started by showing you the recent things that I did in the nether, which include going to the nether and finding, among other things, nether brick fences, huh, which is not at all why I went to the nether. This is something that I happened upon, and by seeing this one blaze rod, you of course know that I did encounter some blazes. Now, a lot of blazes, actually. I killed like about four of them. Um, found a blaze spawner. As a matter of fact, I found two blaze spawners. I could not tell you how to get back there. I have a general idea, and it's not too far away from the the place that I was at. I had no clue that that's what it was. I thought it was a chunk error. The, the, these fortresses are black. Look at this nether brick. You know how much light you gotta throw on a nether brick to get it to look like you can see some detail? I mean, even when it's well lit, this place is dark. And it frustrates me to no end, because I can't see. So anyway, got some uh, glowstone, got a blaze rod. And what I'm gonna do with this, of course you all know, I have got to make myself, and I don't have it, and I don't have it. Uh, I know there's some up here. I don't want to use that. I want to go and get, and not here, not there, not there. I know I've got it here somewhere. Oh, God, it's all down in the very bottom. Yes, it is. Okay, pardon me while I get down here. There it is. Hopefully, and it's not. Oh my goodness. Where did I put that damn thing? All right, you know what I'm looking for. Yeah, of course you did. I swear, I thought I had it. All right, we'll just go get some out of the furnace. We got plenty laying around, that's for sure. Uh, anyway. Ah, this'll do. Alright, so, we are gonna make ourselves a potion stand. And bingo, just like that, I have a potion stand. Now, where should I put this brewing station? Hmm. You know, I've never used one before. This is a first. So I have no clue as to what to do to this. Uh, I'm thinking right in here. Because I never use these. I mean, I may need it maybe once in a blue moon. But I really don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a potions station. Yep, that's what I'll do. Yay. Okay. Now, we're gonna... Might as well go grand with this. Uh, I think... Can I go... Yeah, I can. Go one more block back. Eventually, I want to have several stations here. So... But for right now, I just have the one. So, I'm going to place it right here for now and I'm going to uh, I don't even know how to use it there we go <laughs> this is awkward uh, my first time actually looking at these and I've got plenty of glass I should make some bottles uh, don't exactly know much about bottles but that doesn't make it there we go so Let's see. Damn. That'll do. Okay, now we've got plenty of bottles. And now we need to fill them with water and get ourselves some nether wart. I do have some nether wart that I got from the from the dungeon. The place. Uh, where did I put that? I think I put that in the chest over here as well. 
And I've had soul sand for a long time, but I've got plenty of it. Uh, yeah, enough nether wart. Now, I'm going to need to make a nether wart farm, so I need to make it close at hand. So I'd like to make it in here. And you know, I'm thinking these enchantment stations are way too big, because I never use this one. I only use that one. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take this one down, and that's going to be <laughs> pretty tough, and I'm going to place place it over here, up against this wall. And I will, I will see you when I finish that. Okay. And we're back. And I have cleared that out totally. Um, there's a lot of room in here, and I want to use it as efficiently as I can. I think, I, I don't even think that I'm going to put a enchantment table over here. I think I'm going to use this space for farming, uh, potion farming to be exact. Um, not really a whole lot that I need over here except for melons and I've got that downstairs. So basically I want a, a small piston pusher design that can move. Actually, you know, I don't even think I need that. I think what I just need is two rows of nether. And we're just gonna do it by hand. So, all I need to do is get in here and run a couple of rows down through here for soul sand. And we'll see how this goes. Because I don't need like a ton of stuff for this. Well, we just need to do what we need to do, right? And... Alright. Yeah, it slows you down. Wow. Okay, now. The nether worked. Hopefully, this will be no problem at all. go. Alright. Now I have some nether wart growing right here. It's different stuff, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, I think the rest of this episode I'm going to be uh, working out in the, uh, you know, outside with the, uh, the epic build out there. I'm going to tear out a lot of stuff and uh, I think... Uh, that's pretty much going to happen. Uh, all this is probably going to go because it's connected up here to this. And I think I want to get rid of most of this. I think I talked about that. And um, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I don't know about this big stairwell right here going up. I think I still need it. But I don't know if I really want to keep it the way it is. I think I might go with ladders. There's so much more compact and easier to drop down and so on. So, we'll just, uh, we'll see how this uh, progresses. When I tear this out, I'm probably going to see things a lot differently, so I'll know what to do then. So, I'm going to reserve judgment on that. So, anyway. And just like that, I have cleared it all out. And something miraculous happened. I was looking into this area that used to be the stairwell, um, and a matter of fact, that stairwell is just gone. Remember, this is three blocks higher right here over this. And so this was the top block right here on top of this. And so this went up a block and then it was ceiling. So I cleared all that away and revealed this, and I got an idea when I saw those chests down there. My idea was simple. Uh, come home from a long day of uh, chopping up wood or blocks or whatever, and just throw stuff into a little area 
over top of half slabs and let it be sorted automatically and dispensed into all the chests that I have underneath me and put them in these slots and fill this in. <laughs> I don't need a staircase really. Um, but that's the general idea that I had. I don't know how practical it'd be. I know I'd have to rip all this up underneath here and put down half slabs in certain areas above it so that I could open chests and whatnot, but the idea is pretty sound. And there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to make sorters because I have a ton of iron right now to make hoppers with. And that's what I need is a lot of hoppers to make that happen. So using those hoppers as sorting devices, I could then have a storage hall right here, which I just, you know, just go down on either side and I can pick what I need. The only thing I don't like is this is too narrow. This is much too narrow. Um, and looking at it, it's probably too low. I'm probably going to need at least another block up. Uh, or actually, in this case, I might want to start at this level, which is almost down to where my workshop level is. So, what that would mean, let me do this quickly, let's get over here, jump on my bed. This lines up. So, if I made this an entranceway back into there, I could have my deep storage room. So, this would go away, it would become a, an entranceway into the storage room. And all this all that up there would be is I, I could just throw something on the floor, it would disappear, it would just be sucked in to my storage room. And then I could it would automatically be sorted. I wouldn't have any of this where I have to search like I did last earlier just for you know something. It would all be sorted out, I could label it, things would be good. So I'm gonna look into doing that and uh, see what what happens to that. But that is a huge project. Um, I think I want to get a little closer to finished on this interior project. Coming in here, I want to be a little more streamlined, you know, getting in there. And it's always night. I'd like to be able to get in here and get to the back quicker. And, um, I'm working on making that happen. It's a little quicker now that this isn't here. This is where the bed was and everything. It really did slow me down. I'm going to put half slabs over this for the time being, and that way I can uh, run back and forth, and I'll be able to get across here easily. Um, not sure what I want to do with this staircase yet. Like I said, got in mind epic storage, but that's another episode. But anyway, um... We're just going to see what happens. I'll continue to work on this and I'll update you as that happens. Yeah, this is a little experiment I've been doing because I'm kind of would like to improve the efficiency of my chicken farming. And I built this pit right next to my chicken farm. And have a ladder down in there, but I'm not brave enough to go down in there with a million screaming chickens. Now, I picked up on this idea from Etho. I'll give him credit. And of course, Etho, when he did it, dispensers would break eggs. And even in the wiki, it says that it'll have the normal effect. Well, guess what? Not anymore. Dispensers no longer break eggs. They will give you an egg, which is kind of not good. <laughs> not good when you're trying to set up something like this to break the egg to, to make a chicken. So I'm left with a million screaming chickens that uh, I had to do by hand. And believe me, I'm not even a tenth of the way through all my eggs. Oh my goodness. I've got so many eggs, I don't know what to do with them. Seriously, I'm 
I'm thinking of taking down my chicken farm until I actually need it. And, uh, because look at this. I mean, I've already got that many damn chickens. And I just barely cleared out the bottom row of some of these chests. Some of them I haven't even got to. And the eggs are still falling. Look at that, I'm full. And, uh, like, look, I haven't even got to this chest, and it's 90% full. And this one's full. I mean, gee, I got a lot, a lot of chickens that I'm going to have. I'm already seeing the lag. But, you know, real deal. I mean, if I get two to three chickens out of each, God, there's four, out of each uh, six stack of 16, good lord. With this lag, I'm getting better options because I think it's uh, I think it's actually repeating the uh, statistic. <laughs> oh man, get away from that! So, as you can see, I have way too many eggs, and uh, I just thought it was a little humorous. This lag factory that I've set up is so amazingly. Productive. Once these guys grow up, I'm going to have like maybe two stacks of 64. I've never had this many chickens going at once. And it's a good thing I, well, I would not even attempt this unless I had a potion stand, which I just got. And I'm going to be making a poison potion, so, or a damage potion. And I will make sure that these guys end. So, that's a little diversion from my epic entrance. <laughs> Whew. Well, I got the hang of these potions, and I made a few. Got a few health potions, and I made some damage potions, and I got all my stuff, and figured out how to make glistering melon. That was the hardest part. But, um, uh, really... The, the biggest deal that uh, has happened while I was away went back to the nether. And I had a uh, drag out, knock down, just long fight with the blazes. And they knocked the blazes out of me. I died once, uh, lost my shovel. Um, I think. I think I lost my helmet. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Where did I put all that stuff? Nope, I still got my helmet, thank goodness. All of this stuff needs repairing. I uh, had to make some new armor to go back there and just to retrieve all my stuff. And boy, I tell you, that was just grueling. I was trying to block off the, uh, the spawner, and... I couldn't quite manage it because they, they kept spawning on one side that I couldn't get blocked and every time I went around the corner, kapow! And uh, it wasn't that I was dying, it's that I forgot to look. I was actually killing them off and then a few well-placed uh, barrages uh, lit me on fire and I just, I was killing them off and ended up dying because I just ignored my health bar. So, let that be a lesson to us all. Don't ignore your health bar. So, that went well, and... Ah, yes, I figured something out. It was a blunder on my part. Uh, I did not know this, but... When you make dispensers, there are two types. There are the type that have a bow and arrow inside of them, and the type that don't. The type that don't won't break an egg. The type that do will shoot an egg. I didn't know there were two types. Nobody told me. It wasn't in the wiki. Uh, they just didn't make a distinction. So I rigged this up, put a put a timer on it, and now every time I load these things, it'll spit out chickens, and that's a good news for me, because uh, what I may do is get rid of the chests and just load all the eggs into one or two dispensers from hoppers, but that's a long way to go. I may have to just figure out a way to, to get the hoppers to go straight from the egg farm and do it more efficiently. But uh, then I'd have nothing to do while I wait on spiders. But if I get that blaze farm going, hopefully I won't need spiders. Uh, those blazes are... Yeah, they give quite a bit of experience. Uh, 
probably the best experience would be for the uh, for the end. But I haven't I haven't got enough Ender pearls to even make it to the end, let alone uh, make Ender chest, which I need before I go to the end, so I can make all kinds of things. But um, that's for a different day. Mushrooms, very important for health potions and making the uh, glistering melon. So now I'm collecting mushrooms. Now I know what they're for. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of stuff that uh, I used to not collect. Boy, it's just, ugh. Now I've got more to farm, more to collect. I'm going to have to make a mushroom farm and research that. Probably make one right here. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, about time I took a nap. It's getting late. And I think I'm going to wrap this episode up. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Let me go over potions real quick. Um, I printed out a chart off of Wiki. And it's a very nice chart. Uh, everything starts with the awkward potion. So you make an awkward potion, right? And then you've got an awkward potion. And you can add several things to it. Um, one of the things would be spider eyes. Spider eyes gives you a poison potion. So if I add spider eyes to my brewing stand right here, then I get a poison potion. And the way you change that poison potion into a damage potion is by simply adding a fermented spider eye, which, if I'm not mistaken, I believe is mushroom and, let's see, sugar. That's right. Mushrooms and sugar. So that's why I've got the mushrooms. You add the mushroom and the sugar to the spider eye on the crafting table and it gives you a fermented spider eye and you use that to put on top of the damage potion to give yourself your um, I mean your poison potion to give yourself your damage potion and then you just simply add uh, I think it's redstone or actually glowstone to make it more potent and it gives you a damage 2 potion. You probably won't need that for chickens. And I haven't done the just plain damage potion, but it takes 3 hearts away. And the damage 2 potion takes 6. So I'm not so sure, but I added gunpowder for a splash to make sure I got all the chickens. And Anyway, so I've got more rods so that I can make... <coughs> more brewing stands and I can see why Etho automates this. It's because it is a pain, let me tell you. Here we go. It is a pain to make all these damn... What is it? Uh, it's a can. I thought that was it. Or is it redstone on either side? I don't know what makes it now. Done forgot. Huh. I'll have to look that up again. Anyway, uh, but I'm going to make like a dozen more of these so I can automate some things. Put a dispenser down on the thing so that it can uh, load them up automatically. But that is just, that is just a lot of work for <laughs> not a lot of output. But anyway, um, that's kind of where we're at and that's potion motion <laughs> it's what you have to do uh, still working on getting magma cream magma cream does a lot for you um, it makes uh, fire resistance and boy do I need that I've only got a couple of magma things uh, where are they uh, I think they're here I've got two I can make two potions so that's six potions with two creams Goodness, that's not enough. Uh, gonna need more than that. <laughs> but I think these are dropped by the by the uh, the ghasts. I'm not really sure. I thought they were dropped by these other 
big thing, the little uh, magma monster things, slime ball things in the nether. I'm not really sure, but I gotta locate those and get more of those. And um, anyway, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and thanks for hanging around. Hopefully uh, I'll have more on the uh, nether next time, and we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.